Hey everyone, this is Nick here with another video for you in the Data Hub Collection series. Today, we're going to go over an example on how you can set up an operational database using NiFi and Kafka to import sensor data from a car into HBase and query it using SQL commands through Phoenix. We've started off by creating three data hubs that will house our prepackaged solutions for the various steps we'll need to take. We have one data hub hosting NiFi, which we'll use to import, format, and move the data between our source and its final destination in our operational database. Another data hub will host our streaming services, such as Kafka, Streams Messaging Manager, and the Schema Registry. A final data hub is going to house our operational database, which includes HBase and Phoenix. Before we dive into the details, let's take a brief moment to consider what our goal is. Our use case today is going to cover bringing information in from a bunch of sensors in a car into a streaming service and subscribing to that stream to save the data into an operational database. In a real world scenario, this could be applied to a fleet of trucks, trains, or airplanes in order to have both real time or offboard processing of the data to look for things such as engine issues, fuel inefficiencies, or even unexpected deviations from normal protocol. So let's start off with a quick look at the data we'll be processing. You'll see it's a simple CSV file with a time offset and a lot of sensor data for each recorded time. There's about 10 minutes worth of data, which corresponds to around 67,000 individual data points. We've placed this file in an S3 bucket to simulate a real-world scenario where you would be pulling from an external data source. Now to get started on processing this file, let's go into our NiFi data hub and start going over the flow we've set up. You'll see we've broken out the flow into several sections, based on the function they're performing. The first major section is going to grab our car sensor data, stored in S3, and use NiFi's processors to spin the data into a JSON format to then split up and make use of Kafka's queuing system. This means each row will be passed in as a separate message, opening up the potential for stream processing down the line. Once each row has had the proper processing, we're going to pass it over to our Kafka topic. Before we run this, let's go into the data hub hosting Kafka and check out how we have that configured. Opening up the streaming data hub, you'll see that there are two important parts we've set up. First, in the schema registry, we've listed the parameters in JSON format that we're going to be using for this particular set of data. This is an easy way to modify and evolve the data schema in a centralized place, as you may add or remove a sensor from the engine down the line. Both NiFi and Kafka will leverage the schema we created here. In the Streams Messaging Manager, we've set up a new topic named Corvette Stream that's going to handle the data being fed into Kafka. Using Kafka gives you the ability to subscribe to the stream from various different sources while guaranteeing you deliver the same data to all of them in the proper order. We've chosen to assign five partitions to our topic, but this number can be scaled based on the expected throughput of your system. Now that we've got our streaming service all set up, let's go back into NiFi and look at the flow that's going to consume these records from the stream. At the bottom of our flow, we start off with a processor that, while running, we'll be listening for new messages to the Corvette stream topic. When it receives one, it will consume and pass it along to the rest of the flow. Once received, we do a little manipulation to get the data in the flow file in the format we want. In this step, we also add in a unique key, which is crucial to the last step of inserting our data into HBase. Speaking of HBase, let's take a quick look into a worker node inside our operational database data hub to see what we've set up. Using the HBase shell, you'll see we've created one table named Corvette Demo. This is the table we're going to be inserting all of our records into. To make data retrieval a little easier, we've also set up a Phoenix view on top of our HBase table. This allows us to query our HBase data in an SQL type language while still taking advantage of the performance benefits of HBase. Now that we've got a feel for the path our data is going to take, let's go into NiFi and watch our flow go to work. First, you'll see the data being pulled from S3 and pushed into our Kafka topic. Almost immediately, we see the Kafka consumer pick the data back up from the topic and send it through some more processing, finishing up with the data being written to our table in HBase. With our data happily in HBase, we use the Phoenix view to easily retrieve data via an SQL statement. Here, you'll see we can retrieve all the data for a specific fueling condition using a common SQL syntax. Now, we get both the speed benefits of HBase with the ease of use of SQL, 
giving us a well-rounded and easy to use operational database. Thanks a lot for watching today. Please let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you'd like us to cover and subscribe to be notified whenever any new videos are released. If you have any questions about CDP, make sure to check out the Cloudera community. We'll include a link in the description below.